Exodus 20, I'll give you the title momentarily, go ahead, read. <clears throat> and God spake all these words, saying, mm -hmm. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, That's out right. of the house of bondage. Go ahead. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. Mm -hmm. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. That's right. It, thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in the midst, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Mm -hmm. Under thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Yeah, quickly, let's go to Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, and we're going to read two verses there. Let's say, let's say, what does say the Lord? Go ahead. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Yes, believe it. Let's go to um, Revelation 22. Let's see if we still have to keep these laws, right? Right. Yeah, we're going to read two verses there. Verses um, 14 and 15. Read when you get there. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For with all the dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Sister and brother, you, you see that you still need these commandments, That's and right. you need the faith of Jesus Christ. Right. So today's lesson is Israel, the salt of the earth. Israel salt of the earth israel the salt of the earth right this is the title and what i mean by this title here so salt what salt does salt preserve so guess what we're going to read in the scripture today we're going to realize that jesus called us the salt of the earth right. so what salt supposed to do it's supposed to preserve and Sister and brother, we got to go for it and preserve this earth because if we don't, this world going to go to hell, right? That's right. That's right. So it, it's a flavor. It gives flavor. So guess what? Israel, we got to bring flavor in this world, right? That's right. It, it's a seasoning, right? So we got to go for it and season this earth, sister and brother. We're going to see in this lesson, if we don't do that, what we worthy of. We're going to see what we worthy of if we don't season this world. We don't give this world flavor right all right let's start this off at um john the fourth chapter and let's see with jesus right jesus uh met jesus was at the well and this lady met jesus at the well the samaritan woman
All right. Uh, we're going to pick it up. We're going to go straight to the chase. We're going to pick it up at verse um, John, the fourth chapter, and we're going to pick it up at verse 7, and we're going to skip to 19. All right. Read it when we get there. Go ahead. There cometh the woman of Samaria to draw water. Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto her, Give me the drink. Give me the drink. Right? Right. So Jesus is going to return and tell her, I got the living water. And the living water is the word of God. Right? That would never perish or would ne um, never quench. Right? Right. Let's, let's um, pick it up at 19 to 22. Go ahead. The woman said that to him, Sir, uh -huh. I perceive that thou art a prophet. Mm. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men are to worship. Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Mm -hmm. Ye worship ye know not what. Uh -huh. And now we're worshiping God even from Baton Rouge right here, right? Right. Go ahead. We know what we worship, uh -huh. for salvation is of the Jews. The Jews? Who are the Jews? Right? We're going to find out. This book is clear on that. That's right. Right? That's right. You finished that? Yeah, we finished that. All right. Let's go to um, First Peter, the second chapter. Because Peter, he didn't have the New Testament. He had the Old Testament. And he read something in there, right? But uh, he know who we are. Peter know that. And he know what, what we are chosen to do. Right? Right. Um, first Peter, the second chapter, let's pick it up at verse 5. And we're going to read to the verse 9, right? All right. Ye also... As lively stones are built up a spiritual house mm -hmm. in the holy priesthood. You're a holy priesthood? That's right. To offer up spiritual sacrifices uh -huh. acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Uh huh. You want to skip the nine? Skip the nine, my brother. Go ahead. But ye are a chosen generation. You are chosen people? That's right. Go ahead. A royal priesthood in holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's right. So we're going to go when um, Jesus established this in the Old Testament. This is what Peter was reading from the Old Testament. So we're going to go to the Old Testament and verify if this is true, that we are holy. We're supposed to be a holy and peculiar people, the ones that call themselves a Jew. Right? Right. Sister and brother, you guys have a, a rich history. And people ain't going to teach you this in the churches that, that those other people go on Sunday, right? right. They ain't going to teach you that you are, the, you are the royal priest. All right, we're going to pick it up. Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, and we're going to read verse one. Wait till I get there. All right. All right, this, this God that we serve, he will do things for us if we only keep his, co his covenant and do what he says, right? That's right. All right, read on. Uh, verse 1, we're going to read verse 1, and then we're going to read verse 1 to 2, and then we're going to skip to 5. All right, go ahead. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land, whither thou goest to possess it, mm -hmm. and had cast out many nations before thee, uh -huh. the Hittites, and the Gergeshites. Why do you think he's doing this? It's because he loves you, Israel. That's why he's casting, casting for these nations before, before you. Right. Go ahead. And the Amorites, mm -hmm. and the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. Uh -huh. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, mm -hmm. thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt make no covenant with them. No covenant with them. Go ahead. Nor show mercy unto them. That's right. Uh, skip down to um, verse 5. Go but, ahead. 
but thus shall ye deal with them. Uh-huh, how shall you deal with them? Ye shall destroy their altars uh -huh. and break down their images. You can't go worship with them. You got to break down the altars, right? Go ahead. And cut down their groves mm -hmm. and burn their graven images that, with fire. That's right. All these crosses and different, you go in these Catholic church, you got idols all over. Right. Right? Right. Go ahead. It's going to come a time when we're going to have to knock all that stuff down, right? Go ahead. For thou art an holy people unto what? the Lord thy God. A holy people? The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. Not above are, all people. Yes, above all people. What? That are upon the face of the earth. Uh-huh. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people. Uh -huh. For you were the fewest of all people. Mm -hmm. But because the Lord loved you, mm -hmm. and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, mm -hmm. that the Lord brought you out with a mighty it's hand. It's that bloodline, right? That bloodline. Right. That's why he loved you, sister and brothers. Right? Right. Because Abraham and them, they keep the covenant. So we, we got to keep that keep it going, sister and brother. We can't stop. He didn't he say you're, you're a special people? That's right. A holy nation? Right. Chosen generation. That's right. Right? Yeah. Read on. And redeemed you out of the house of bondage uh -huh. from the hand of Pharaoh. And we right he, back there. What, what's going on? We right back in the house of bondage. Mm -hmm. We haven't learned our lesson, sister and brother. Right? Go ahead. From the hand of Pharaoh, mm -hmm. king of Egypt. Uh -huh. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, mm -hmm. the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him mm -hmm. and keep his commandments. Well, then Jesus say that? That's right. If you love me, what? Keep my commandments. Ah. We finished that? To a thousand generations. Ah. All right. Let's go read it once more, huh? Let's go to Exodus because it's all over the Bible. I don't know why they don't read it, but it's all over. We can't hide it. You are peculiar people, right? That's right. I didn't say it. I read it out of the book. The God, the God of Israel is saying this. All right. Let's pick it up at verse 1. We're going to identify who these people are. We might have new people don't re realize that you are the chosen people of God. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead. In the third month. Exodus 19 and verse 1 to 8. Right? Go ahead. In the third month, mm -hmm. when the children of Israel were going forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai. Uh-huh. For they were departed from Rephidim mm -hmm. and were come to the desert of Sinai and had pitched in the wilderness. And there Israel camped before the mount. Mm -hmm. and, Moses and that's where we're going to have to go back if we're going to the wilderness. We're going to have to go back there. Right. Right? Right. Go ahead. And Moses went up unto God, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, mm -hmm. Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel. Tell them what? You've seen what I did unto the Egyptians. They sure have seen it. Right? Go right. ahead. And how I bear you on eagles' wings. And brought you out and brought you unto myself. Mm -hmm. Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed mm -hmm. and keep my covenant. God is a covenant, God. That's right. Then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me. Then above, you're gonna be a peculiar people. <coughs> above all people, mm -hmm. for all the earth is mine. Mm -hmm. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. <coughs> These are the words which thou shalt speak unto <coughs> the children of Israel. What? Uh-huh. And Moses came and called for the elders of the people and lay before their faces all these words which the Lord commanded him. And I'm doing the same today, sister and brother. Go ahead. And all the people answered together and said, all that the Lord hath spoken will we do. Mm -hmm. And Moses returned. And when you took that baptism, mm -hmm. you came under that covenant. And what you are saying, that all that God said you're going to do, sister and brother. That's right. <coughs> Go ahead. And Moses returned the words of the people unto the Lord. Yeah, and that's what them angels going to do, right? All right. Let's go on Deuteronomy um, 27. Deuteronomy 27, and we're going to read verse 9 to 10.
We got a lot to cover today, sister brother. We're going all the way to California. It's not, is it far from here? I think so. I think so. It's about a day, two day journey. I know. We get there. All right, sister brother. Let's go ahead. Read. And Moses and the priests, the Levites, spake unto all Israel, saying, mm -hmm. Take heed and hearken, O Israel. This day thou art become the people of the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt therefore obey the voice of the Lord thy God and do his commandments. And do and what? His, and do his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Okay. I don't know my throat messing up. I don't worry. All right. Um, let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah 49. And if you're going to be a priest, who are you going to teach, right? Mm -hmm. If you're a chosen priesthood, who are you going to teach? Let the master tell you, right? Right. Isaiah 49. And we're going to read verse 5 to 6. All right. Go ahead. Verse 5. And now said the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, mm -hmm. to bring Jacob again to him. Mm -hmm. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, mm -hmm. and my God shall be my strength. Mm -hmm. And he said. This who this Jesus, right? right? He's talking about, right? Go ahead. It is a light thing that thou shouldest <coughs> be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob mm -hmm. and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles. To what? Yes. To the Gentiles? That's right, to the Gentiles. So if, you, if you're going to be a priest to all, all people of the earth, you got to preach to the Gentiles too. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to Mark. Let's, let's, let's see if that's true. Because Jesus is going to say it again. If you didn't catch it in the Old Testament, let's see if you, you're going to catch it now. Mark 16. And one verse real quick. Now you can read it with some understanding, right? Mm -hmm, that's right. Mm -hmm. This is what Jesus is talking about right Read one verse there, my brother. Mark 16 and verse 15. Go ahead. And he said unto them. Mm-hmm. What did he say? Go ye into all the world. Where? All the world. Uh-huh. And preach the gospel to every creature. Mm-hmm. To every creature. Is a Gentile a creature? That's right. <coughs> what about them Hamites? Them too. They're a creature too, right? That's right. All right. Even that people in Brazil, right? Got to bring that word right there, right? Right. So we got a lot of work to do. All right, let's go back to Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, because if we're going to go forth to teach, this is what we got to have now. We got we to gotta, we gotta soak up this word. We got to bring that flavor. And in order for you to have that flavor, you got to have this word. And you got to understand how to bring the word to the people, right? That's right. All right. Let's pick it up at verse 1. <coughs> Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Read it, my brother. Now, therefore, uh -huh. hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you. Yeah. For to do them, uh -huh. that ye may live, and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers Give it you. You should not add unto the word. So you got a land? Yeah, we do. A lot of us don't know where we come from, sister and brother. A lot of us. But we have a land. We're going to see that today in this lesson, right? Go for it. Go ahead. Ye should not add unto the word which I command you. Uh-huh. Neither shall ye diminish aught from it. Uh-huh. That ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Mm-hmm. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Baal Peor. Yes. For all the men that follow Baal Peor, the Lord thy God had destroyed them from among you. Mm -hmm. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive, 
every one of you this day. Mm -hmm. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Mm, and that's still going to happen, right? Go ahead. Keep therefore and do them. <coughs> uh -huh. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. Well, the law is your wisdom and un understanding system, brother. Right. Right? That's right. And what? Which shall, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Mm -hmm. For what nation is there so great who had God, who had God so nigh to them, as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that had statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law, uh -huh. which I set before you this day? Uh -huh. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, mm -hmm. and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. Mm -hmm. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. Mm -hmm. So you got to teach it to your children, right? Right. Go ahead. Especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in Horeb, mm -hmm. when the Lord said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn and fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, yes. and that they may teach their children. Horeb is where we're going to be in the wilderness system, brother. All right, let's go to Psalms. Psalms 147. I don't think y'all believe y'all the chosen people, sister. Sister and brother. But this book is clear. Yes, sir. Right? I can't hide it from you. I ain't gonna hide it from you. Over and over it's in this book. Because you are the salt of the earth, and you got to bring forth this word. But you got to know that you're Israel, and you're a chosen people. All right, pick it up at um, verse 19. Um, one, Psalms 147, and pick it up at verse 19 to 20. Two verses right here. Go ahead. He showed this word unto Jacob. He showed his word unto Jacob? His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Uh-huh. He had not dealt so with any nation. Mm -hmm. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. So, wait a minute. So, if he teach you, so how is he going to get to the other people? Huh? Through us. We need to, we gotta it got to get through you. Mm -hmm. You are the salt of the earth, sister brother. If, it ain't, if you ain't doing it, who going to do it? Nobody. Romans. The third chapter. <clears throat> now, nah, Romans the ninth chapter. Uh, even Paul going to tell us this, man. Paul is saying, everything is given to you. We're going to see it. It's consistent in this book. You just got to search it out. I did not know this, but now I do. All right, Romans, the ninth chapter, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Read it. I say the truth in Christ. Uh huh. I lie not. Uh huh. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost uh -huh. that I have great heaviness. And continual sorrow in my heart. Mm -hmm. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. He wished that he was a curse for us, sister and brother Paul. Was. Right? Go ahead. For my brethren, mm -hmm. my kinsmen according to the flesh, uh -huh. who are Israelites. Who are what? Israelites. Uh -huh. To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenant. Wait a minute. You was adopted, right? That's right. You are the first adoption. And then you, 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 you are the one that have been given all the covenants to. Mm -hmm. And what else? Go ahead. And the giving of the law. Uh-huh. And the service of God. The what? The service of God. Wait a minute. We're supposed to conduct the service of the law, system, brother. Because you're the priest. How you could have some stranger come and do it for you? Mm -hmm. Right? Right. That's why it's order in this church, right? That's right. Go ahead. And the promises. Uh-huh. 
whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came. Uh huh. Christ came over, to you, right? That's right. Who was over all. Uh huh. God bless forever. Mm -hmm. Amen. You finished that? Yeah, we finished that. All right, Romans, the third chapter. It's all over this Bible. They hide in it from you, sister and brother. But I'll make it clear today. I ain't going to hide none. All right, Romans, the third chapter. We're going to pick it up at verse 1. All right. Go ahead. What advantage then hath the Jew? Yeah. Or what profit is there of circumcision? Uh-huh. Much, right? Much every way. Uh-huh. Chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. Wait a minute. You guys got the answers? That's right. That's what we read. You got this cheat book right here. You can cheat all you want. <laughs> huh? You need to know what's going on. Somebody talk about they going to heaven. Oh, let me, I know where to go. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. I know where to show them. Right? That's an open book test right here. That's right. All right. Verse you finish that? Go ahead. For what if some did not believe? Uh-huh. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? If you are the chosen, is that going to make it an uh, effect? People, if people don't believe? No. No. This word go forth. Right? Go ahead. God forbid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let God be true, but every man a liar. Uh -huh. As it is written. God is the one that chose you, right? That's right. All right. Go ahead. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, mm -hmm. and mightest overcome when thou art judged. That's right. Let's go to Matthew, where I got this title from, right? Jesus was on the mountain here, and he was talking. He's telling the, the, the children, his disciple and the, and the people that was on the mountain, telling them how, they, how they're supposed to be blessed and how they're supposed to conduct themselves. But one thing he says here that really caught my eye is the salt of the earth, right? And then we're going to go straight to it. Verse 9, Matthew 5 and verse 9 to 14. You can read the rest on your home, sister and brother. That's your homework. <laughs> you get homework. We give you homework. <laughs> All right. Um, go ahead. Blessed are the peacemakers, uh -huh. for they shall be called the children of God. Uh -huh. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. For righteousness sake, right? Right. For well, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Blessed are ye. When men shall revile you mm -hmm. and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely mm -hmm. for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Even Jesus, right? Go ahead. Ye are the salt of the earth. Ye are what? The salt of the earth. Uh-huh. But if the salt have lost its savior, what would shall it be salted? So if you lost your, 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 your flavor... What, what use are you? Huh? None. Let's see. Let's say what Jesus... I'm not going to say it. Let Jesus say it. Go ahead. It is thenceforth good for nothing. Good for nothing? Good for nothing. We can't be a good for nothing, people, right? <laughs> right? Go ahead. But to be cast out. Huh? And to, to be, be cast, cast out. Not, 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 we ain't talking about lake of fire, right? I, I guess he's talking about lake of fire. <laughs> yeah. Right? Go ahead. And to be tried another foot. And we're going to see how we, how we got here. We are be, being tried it under, under foot, sister and brother. That's why we're here. We, don't, we forgot that we are the salt of the earth. Right. Go ahead. You are the light of the world. Uh-oh. Some big things right here. You are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. A city that is set on a hill cannot mm -hmm. be hid. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yeah. All right. Let's go and see when we were the salt of the, salt of the earth, man. Let's go to our first king, the 10th chapter. You 
You know, this is when we our oh, glory days. Yeah. Everything was running smooth. All right, first king, the 10th chapter, and we're going to read 1 to 10, and then we're going to do some skipping real quick. All right, go ahead, my brother. Read it when you get there. And when the queen of Sheba heard the fame of Solomon concerning uh -huh. the name of the Lord. Concerning the name of the Lord, right? She was interested in about the Lord. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You got to go through Israel, right? That's right. Go ahead. She came to prove him with hard questions. Uh-huh. And she came to Jerusalem with a very great train, mm -hmm. with camels that bear spices, and very much gold, mm -hmm. and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that what was in What is commune, heart. sister and brother? Because, um, you know, some people pervert the gospel, right? Mm -hmm. Right? You got them, what, them Rastafarian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they said they say she came and do something different, right? Right. But that's not what it is. Commune means talk with him, right? That's right. Go ahead. And Solomon told her all her questions. Uh -huh. There was not anything here from the king, mm -hmm. which she told her not. Uh -huh. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom. And the it's house about Solomon's wisdom. And what we talked, we read about the wisdom here in, 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 the, in um, Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. Right. Right, go ahead. And the house that he had built. Uh -huh. And the meat of his table. And the sitting of his servants. And the attendance of his ministers. Mm -hmm. And their apparel. And his cupbearers. And it's a scent by which he went up to the house of the Lord. Uh huh. There was no more spirit in her. Uh huh. And she said to the king, It's just like going to a Michael Jackson concert, right? <laughs> oh, there, man. Fall out, right? <laughs> she get all that she's supposed to get, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And she said to the king, It was a true report that I heard in my own land of thy acts and of thy wisdom. Uh huh. Howbeit, I believe not the words. Until I came and my eyes had seen it. Uh -huh. And behold, the half was not told me. Thy wisdom and prosperity exceeded the fame which I heard. And that's going to happen again, sister and brother, when Jesus returned, right? Right. We're going to be prosperous, sister and brothers. That's Go right. ahead. Happy are thy men. Happy are these thy servants. Uh -huh. We stand continually And that's them. how we're going to be, right? Right. Happy. That's right. We're going to say we made it, right? That's right. All right. Go ahead. And they hear thy wisdom. Mm -hmm. Blessed be thou, blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighteth in thee, to set thee on the throne of Israel, because the Lord loved Israel forever. Mm, uh, not forever. Forever. Right. Go ahead. Therefore made he thee king to do judgment and justice. Mm -hmm. And she gave the king an hundred and twenty talents of gold. And you're going to get that too. And of spices, very great store, and precious stones. There came no more such abundance of spices as these which the queen of Sheba gave the king Solomon. Sister and brothers, y'all going to get some reward for doing all this, right? Right. For being patient, right? That's right. Um, skip down to 23. Then the book says it's going to be street of gold? Yes, sir. Huh? That's right. I don't think y'all believe it. Listen, we, uh, you can read in this book when, when, the, when the people, when the Gentiles going to bring all the riches of the earth, they're going to bring it to Jerusalem. And they're just going to empty it right there in front of you. I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know what you're going to do. Huh? Right now you're trying to gain riches and it's, it's, it's never, you, you never could obtain. Everything is just getting more and more expensive. That's right, definitely. I'll try to go back to the island. It ain't more expensive over there. Huh? I'm like, man, I'm good where I'm at now. <laughs> I ain't finna go over there. <laughs> every time I go over there, they're looking like I'm bringing every. I'm like, man, look, man, I got little in my pocket. I can't afford to get you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I barely could get by down here, right? <laughs> well, anyway, um, that's why we got to wait on the Lord, man, sister and brothers. I'm telling you, pick it up at 23. Go ahead. So King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for, uh, uh -huh. for riches and for wisdom. Mm -hmm. And all the earth sought to Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. Mm -hmm. That was the end of that. That's what ended that. All right, my brother. Let's go to um, Job. Job, the sixth chapter. Because you got to have flavor system, brother. What is the use?
Let's go to this wisdom book here, man. Let's see what Job say about this salt, man. All right. Pick it up at verse. The Job, the sixth chapter, and verse six to seven. Go ahead, read it. Can that which is unsavory be eaten without salt? Uh huh. Or is there any taste in the white of an egg? Ah, uh, man. I sometimes I try to eat that uh, that egg, man. I, the white part of the egg. I've been wanna, you know, throw up. I got to put some salt on that thing, right? Mm -hmm. Or they call it devil eggs. I, I, that's the only way I might eat it, right? <laughs> but go ahead. The things that my soul refused to touch are as my soul for me. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, let's go um, to Leviticus, the second chapter, because even the Lord likes salt, right? He likes that flavor, and we're going to see it. And it, 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 he's showing you something physical to show you something spiritual. Yeah. Right? Remember, all these sacrifices is something showing towards Christ. So this salt also is showing something spiritual. Mm -hmm. Leviticus, the second chapter. And we're going to pick it up at verse 8. And we're going to, 8 to 10, and we're going to skip to 13. All right, read it when you get there, my brother. And thou shalt bring the meat offering that is made of these things unto the Lord. Uh-huh. When it is presented unto the priest, he shall bring it unto the altar. And the priest shall take from the meat offering a memorial thereof, mm -hmm. and shall burn it upon the altar. Mm -hmm. It is an offering made by fire of a sweet Savior unto the Lord. Mm-hmm. Flavor, right? The, right. The, the, uh, the aroma. Right, go ahead. And that which is left of the meat offering shall be Aaron's and his sons. Mm. It is a thing most holy of the offerings of mm. the Lord made by fire. Man, imagine what left over is for Aaron. Them brothers must have been some big brothers, right? Because mm. Israel sin all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of meat in the house. A whole lot of meat, right? Skip down to um, verse 13. And every oblation of thy meat offering shalt thou season with salt. Uh huh. Neither shalt thou suffer the salt of the covenant of thy God to be lacking from what? thy meat offering. The, the Lord loves salt? That's what we read, yep. Yeah, he said, don't, don't let that salt be lacking. Put that salt all over, right? That meat, right? <laughs> all right, read on. With all thine offerings, thou shalt offer salt. Mm hmm. That's right. Salt got to be on thy meat. He want flavor. Let's go to um, Mark. We're not going to do the exodus. Let's go to Mark, the ninth chapter. All right. We're halfway there, system, brother. Uh, we're halfway to California right now. I'm just letting y'all know. Like y'all going to fall asleep on me now. Uh, we're going to Mark the ninth chapter, and we're going to read two verses there. Mark the ninth chapter, and we're going to read two verses. Because I told you it's something, it, it referred to something spiritual. Mm -hmm. All right, pick it up at verse 47. Go ahead, read it. And if thine eye offend thee, mm -hmm. pluck it out. It is better for thee to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye uh -huh. than having two eyes to be cast into hellfire. Now, don't go pluck your eye out now because you did something bad. Is this just something spiritual he's talking about? Stop. Cut it off. That's basically what he's saying. If you like looking at, you know, you got to stop. <laughs> you got to stop looking at that thing so, so, so much, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. That's basically what he's saying. All right? Don't go pluck your eye out now, come on. All right, go ahead. Where the worm died not, uh -huh. and the fire is not quenched. Mm -hmm. For everyone shall That's lake of fire, right? Go ahead. For everyone shall be salted with fire, and every sacrifice shall be salted with salt. Uh -huh. That's what we read it. All that sacrifice has to have salt. But what it really means, go ahead. Salt is good. Uh -huh. But if the salt have lost his saltness, uh -huh. wherewith, wherewith you... Wherewith will ye season it? Uh-huh. 
have salt in yourselves mm -hmm. and have peace one one with another. He's talking about this word. This word, if you read it, it's going to bring peace to you, sister and brother. That's right. You're going to have peace because you're going to have wisdom and understanding, and that's going to bring forth peace, right? That's right. All right. Let's go to Amos, the, ter the third chapter. Amos, the third chapter. the third chapter. Amos, the third chapter. We're going to read two verses here. Go ahead, my brother. Read it. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, mm -hmm. O children of Israel, uh -huh. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Now, he keeps reminding us about this Egypt. He don't forget about Egypt, man. The Lord don't forget about that stuff. Everywhere you read in this Bible, it talks about Egypt. Right? Go ahead. Saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. He going to punish us? That's right. We're going to look about this punishment that we are, we are receiving at the moment, right? All right, let's go to um, Isaiah, because this is the reason why we deserve the punishment. Let's go to Isaiah 43. God is a fair God, man. He is. Isaiah 43, and we're going to pick it up at verse 10 to 13, and we do some skipping. Go ahead, my brother. Read it when you get there. Yeah. Isaiah 43 and verse 10 to 13, and, skip, and we're going to skip it. Go ahead. Ye are my witnesses. You are what? Lord, my witnesses. Uh-huh. Said the Lord. Mm-hmm. And my servant whom I have chosen. Uh-huh. That ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he before me. There was no God formed. Mm -hmm. So you are his weakness. You are his true Jehovah weaknesses, right, sister and brother? Mm -hmm. Right? Right. So therefore, you won't get spanked because you know, you know God. You're going to deserve some punishment if you behave bad, right? Right. Go ahead. Neither shall there be after me. Mm -hmm. I, even I am the Lord, mm -hmm. and beside me there is no Savior. Uh -huh. I have declared and have saved. And I have showed. You know, we're going to look in about these other gods, right? But the Lord is telling there is no other God beside him. We go look at them Hindustani. We go, you know, in India. We go look at them idol worship they got. We say, oh, man, these are awesome God over here. God don't want you to worship them things. That's right. Right? You go look at Buddha in China right there, huh? God don't want you to worship them things. He don't want to get, carry them things on your neck, right? Right. All right, go ahead. When there was no strange God among you, mm -hmm. therefore, ye are my witnesses, said mm -hmm. the Lord, mm -hmm. that I am God. That, that what? That I am God. We, we know that because we saw what happened in Egypt, right? He brought us out of the land of Egypt. Then he, wasn't he there among Sinai? Yes, we sir. read it, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, skip down to, um, you, you finish that? Oh, you want 13? Yeah, read 13. Go ahead. Yeah. Before the day was, I am he, mm -hmm. and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. Mm -hmm. I will work, and who shall let it? Mm -hmm. Skip down to 22. 21. 21, yeah, 21. Go ahead. This people have I formed for myself. Uh-huh. They shall show forth my praise. Mm -hmm. You're going to you gonna show forth praise, believe me. Go ahead. But thou hast not called upon me, O Jacob. Mm -hmm. But thou hast been weary of me, O uh, Israel. Are you weary of the Lord? Mm -hmm. We're going to find out what he's going to do to us, right? Go ahead. Thou hast not brought me the small cattle of thy burnt offerings. Mm -hmm. Neither hast thou honored me with thy sacrifices. Mm -hmm. I have not caused thee so to So we got to be a living sacrifice un unto God now, right? right? We don't have to bring these animals anymore, right? Right. Go ahead. 
I have not caused thee to serve with an offering, uh -huh. nor wearied thee with incense. Mm -hmm. He didn't want that. At, he didn't want it, but because of our sin, he, he, he implemented that animal sacrifice. Right? Go ahead. Thou hast bought me no sweet cane. Uh -huh. honey. Neither hast thou filled me with the fat of thy sacrifices. Mm -hmm. But thou hast made me to serve with thy sins. Uh -huh. Thou hast wearied me with thine iniquities. Mm -hmm. I, even I, am he that blotteth out thy transgressions for mine own sake. Uh -huh. And will not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Mm -hmm. Thy first father had sinned. Mm -hmm. And thy teachers have transgressed against me. Woo. Go Therefore, ahead. I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary. Who is the princes of the sanctuary, sister and brother? The Levites, right? right. The teachers, right? right? Go ahead. And have given Jacob to the curse uh -huh. and Israel to the reproaches. Wow, we're going to see about this curse. Israel is given to the curse. Right? It, look, Daniel was getting a headache about this. Let's go to um, Daniel, the ninth chapter. Daniel picked up the book of Jeremiah. He was getting a whole lot of headache, right? The brother was getting a migraine. But let's uh, pick it up at verse 11. Let's see why. Daniel, the ninth chapter, and we're going to pick it up at verse 11. Go ahead. Yeah. All Israel have transgressed thy law, even by the party, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, mm -hmm. and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. Mm -hmm. And he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us, and against our judges that judged us, by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven had not been done as had been done upon Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So he's talking about Jerusalem, the nation, right? So which nation in the world can you, can you uh, point at that had this captivity that we've been through? Israel. Israel is the only nation that's been through captivity like what we're like we going through now and even in our foreparents, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. As it is written in the law of Moses, mm -hmm. all this evil has come upon us. Yet we, yet made we not our prayer before the Lord our God, uh -huh. that we might turn from our iniquities mm -hmm. and understand our truth. Understand the truth. But let's go in the law, right? Because that's where um, Daniel was reading. You want 14? Yeah, read 14, yeah. Therefore hath the Lord watched upon the evil and brought it upon us. For the Lord our God is righteous in all his works. He is, he, he is, he is, believe it, he For is. we obeyed not his voice. Uh-huh. But let's see here, man. Um, once we get through this, hey, y'all don't fall asleep on me, y'all going to be all right. All right. Let's go to, um, it got a lot of nuggets in this um, Leviticus 26 system, brother. Because God is a covenant God and, it, you know, and he truly loves us, but when you make a covenant, you got to keep it. And this is what the Lord is talking about in this letter that we're getting ready to read. This is a love letter between Israel and God, your creator. And we need to read all of it so we can understand how the Lord feel about us and how we have betrayed him. And how we need to turn from our iniquity, right? Right. All right. This is the first thing we even talk about these idols, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Let's um, Leviticus the twenty-six chapter. Read on, brother. Ye shall make you no idols, uh -huh. no graven image. Mm -hmm. Neither rear you up a standing image. Mm -hmm. Neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land. Mm -hmm. Not so, even in your house, right? Right. You can't have that little that little doll in your house, right? You go on, the, you go, some people go to the Mexican store, some go to the Chinese store, some go to the Indian store, you know what I mean? Right? But God don't want that. They don't throw that stuff out, right? right? Go ahead. To bow down unto it, uh -huh. for I am the Lord your and God. And you can't have no altar in your house, because God don't want you to, remember, when God had his altar, you couldn't go there. So why are you going to put an altar in your house? Right? 
All right, read on. Ye shall keep my Sabbaths uh -huh. and reverence my sanctuary. Uh -huh. I am the Lord. Mm -hmm. If you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, uh -huh. then I will give you rain in due season, mm. and the land shall yield her increase. That's why I'm telling you the God of Israel is a covenant God. You got to do something for him, and he'll do something for you. Right. That's how it goes. Right? Right. Go ahead. And the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Mm -hmm. And your threshing shall reach unto the vintage. Mm -hmm. And the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time. Mm -hmm. And ye shall eat your bread to so the So whatever pool. you do is going to last a long time. The right. Lord going to bless you that way, right? Your money going to stay in your pocket, all this kind of stuff, right? Right. Right? Go ahead. And dwell in your land safely. Mm -hmm. And I will give and I will give peace in the land. Mm -hmm. And you shall lie down, mm -hmm. and none shall make you afraid. Uh -huh. And I will rid evil beasts out of out uh, of the land. That's right. Neither shall the sword go through your land. Mm -hmm. And ye shall chase your enemies, mm. and they shall fall before you by the sword. Mm -hmm. And five of you shall chase an hundred, mm -hmm. and a hundred of you shall put to put ten thousand to flight. Mm -hmm. Then David did that. That's right. David was a powerful brother, but he didn't need no big army, right? Right. He was with the Lord. Go ahead. And your enemy shall fall before you by the sword. Mm -hmm. For I will have respect unto you and will make you fruitful mm -hmm. and multiply you and establish my covenant with you. Mm -hmm. And you shall eat old store and bring forth the old because of the new. Uh huh. It's going to be so much things going on there, brother. Yeah, go ahead. And I will set my tabernacle among you. Mm -hmm. and he, my he going to do it again. He going to set that tabernacle again, sister brother. It's coming. Right. right, go ahead. And my soul shall not abhor you. Mm -hmm. And I will walk among you mm -hmm. and will be your God. And he's going to walk among us again, sister and brother. It's going to happen. Right, go ahead. And ye shall be my people. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord your and God. And you're going to be his people also again, sister and brother. Go ahead. I am the Lord your God, mm -hmm. which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. that ye should not be the bondmen. Mm -hmm. And I have broken the bands of your yoke mm -hmm. and made you go upright. Mm -hmm. But if ye will not hearken unto me uh -huh. and will not do all these commandments, mm -hmm. and if ye shall despise my statutes mm -hmm. or if your soul abhor my judgments. Don't, don't they say we don't, uh, we don't have to do them commandments? Mm -hmm. Israel be saying that. Yeah. Oh, we don't have to do them things no more, man. Every day is a Sabbath day. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you can eat that pork. All you got to do is pray over it. Yeah, that's what I be saying. Go ahead. So that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my covenant, uh -huh. I, will, I also will do this unto you. What are you going to do? I will even appoint over you terror, uh -huh. consumption, mm -hmm. and the burning aid, mm -hmm. and, the, and that shall consume the eyes, mm -hmm. and cause sorrow of heart. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, mm -hmm. but your enemy shall eat it. And we got most, most diseases, right? Go ahead. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. Mm -hmm. They that hate you shall reign over you. Wait a minute. They got people that hate you? <clears throat> yeah. Not everybody loves you, sister, bro. Right? right? But I know we down there downtown demonstrating, right? We down there, um, we, you choosing one. You say, I'm for Israel, and I'm and the other one for Palestine. <laughs> What it was when you was in the ship, right? Huh? When you was in that ship, where they were? Huh? They, they weren't showing no love, right? Go ahead. And ye shall flee when none Matter of fact, they're the one kick you out of the land, right? Go ahead. Verse 18. And if you were not yet for all this, hearken unto me, mm -hmm. then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. Uh -huh. It seems like we get punished. You, look, look at your brother Trump, right? He's still out here. Huh? If you had done that, just me. You've been done locked up, probably done buried already, right? All right, go ahead, read on. And I will break the pride of your power. Uh -huh. And I will make your heaven as iron. Uh -huh. and your earth as brass. Mm -hmm. And your strength shall be spent in vain. Uh -huh. For your land shall not yield her increase. Uh -huh. Neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruits. Uh -huh. And if you walk contrary unto me, uh -huh. and will not hearken unto me, uh -huh. I will bring seven times more plagues man, upon you. Man, keep adding them up, man. Yeah. Wow. Go ahead. The Lord ain't playing, sister and brother. Right. And we saw that. We seen... We see strange fruit hanging on trees and stuff around here, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, go ahead. According to your sins, mm -hmm. 
I will also send wild beasts among you, uh -huh. who shall rob you of your children, mm -hmm. and destroy your cattle, mm -hmm. and make you few in number, mm -hmm. and make your highways desolate. Mm -hmm. And ye, and if ye will not be reformed by, and if ye will not be reformed by me by these things, but will walk contrary unto me. Then, then will I also walk contrary unto you, mm -hmm. and will punish you yet seven times for your sins. Can you add that up? Man, that's, the Lord is mad. Mm -hmm. Right, go ahead. And I will bring a sword upon you that shall avenge the quarrel of my covenant. Mm -hmm. And when ye are gathered together within your cities, I will send a pestilence among you, mm -hmm. and ye shall be delivered into the hand of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And when I have broken the staff of your bread, Ten women shall break your shall bake your bread in one oven. Mm -hmm. And in one oven. One oven. I, I, I thought it should be ten oven, but it's just one oven. That's some. One oven. That's some stuff. That's some serious stuff in that house, there, man. Mm -hmm. It's rough in that house, right? Go ahead. And they shall deliver you by your bread again by weight. Uh huh. And you shall eat. That brother ain't got no peace, right? Go ahead. And not be satisfied. Uh huh. And if ye will not for all this hearken unto me. But walk contrary unto me. Uh -huh. Then I will walk contrary unto you yes. also in fury. Mm -hmm. Even I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sins. Man. Woo. And he shall eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters. And that did happen. Eaten. That happened in what? 70 AD when he in, entrenched um, Jerusalem, right? Right. When, um, what, what Titus? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, right. that happened. Ain't no food going in, no food going out. Right? Right. So guess what? You look at that, hey, man, you're going to be fooled tonight. All right? <laughs> you look at where your eye, yeah, it's going to be fooled. <laughs> Go ahead. And ye shall eat the flesh of your sons, uh -huh. and the flesh of your daughters shall ye eat. Uh -huh. And I will destroy your high places, uh -huh. and cut down your images, mm -hmm. and cast your clothes. Where your church is at? Where the, where the sanctuary at? It's cut down, all is gone. You ain't got no picture of it, right? Right. Go ahead. And cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols. Uh huh. And my soul shall abhor you. What, what verse are we on? 31. 31. Go ahead. And I will make your cities waste. Uh huh. And bring your sanctuaries unto desolation. Uh huh. And I will not smell the savior of your sweet odors. Mm. And I will bring the land into desolation. And your enemies which dwell therein shall be astonished at it. And I will scatter you among the heathen. Uh huh. Ain't we among the heathen? Yeah. yeah we so are. the Bible is true, ain't it? That's right. Go ahead. And we'll draw out a sword after you. Mm -hmm. And your land shall be desolate. Mm -hmm. And, and desolate? What's going on over there? Do you want to go live over there right now? No. Iran finna attack that soon, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to be there. You don't want to be nowhere around there, sister, brother. All right. Go ahead. Then shall the land enjoy her Sabbath uh -huh. as long as it lie desolate. Mm -hmm. And it, and ye be in your enemy's land, mm -hmm. even then shall the land rest mm -hmm. and enjoy her Sabbath. Mm -hmm. ain't, them, ain't them strangers keeping Sabbath over there? They, yeah, they All right, go ahead. So this book is true. Go ahead. As long as it lie desolate, it shall rest. Mm -hmm. Because because Man, it when you go on Jerusalem, uh, Jerusalem, if you check the news, you'll see when, when it comes to the feast day, that whole place shut down. When it comes, there ain't nobody buying, selling, none, none of that stuff. It's just shut down. Right? Go ahead. As long as it lie desolate, it shall rest. Mm -hmm. But it did not rest in your Sabbath no. when what? he dwelt upon it. What? Mm. All right, now. Y'all yeah, yeah, reading our history right here, now. That's right. Go ahead. And upon them that are left alive of you will I send a faintness into their hearts mm -hmm. in the lands of their enemies. Mm -hmm. And the sound of a shaken leaf shall chase them. And sometimes, it, 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 man, sometimes all you got to hear a little noise over there, everybody start running, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody run out of here. Right, go ahead. And they shall flee as fleeing from a sword. Uh -huh. And they shall fall when none pursue it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it be like that sometimes because you hear that noise, you see one person take off. <laughs> Everybody take off. You ain't right. know. You, you ain't even know what's going on. Right. You took you because you saw that person run. Right. Right. You got to go too. Then you meet around the corner. What happened? What happened? <laughs> oh, it's nothing. <laughs> you mean to tell me you have you running for nothing? <laughs> go ahead. And they shall fall one upon another, uh -huh. as it were before a sword, mm -hmm. when none pursue it. Mm -hmm. And ye shall have no power to stand before your enemies. And we sure enough, if you got one gun, they got a bigger one, right? Go ahead. 
and ye shall perish among the heathen. Uh -huh. And the land of your enemies shall eat you up. Uh -huh. They sure is eating us up, bro. Go ahead. And they that are left of you shall pine away mm. in their iniquity mm -hmm. in your enemies' lands. That's right. And also in the iniquities of their fathers shall they pine away with them. Mm -hmm. If they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass, which they trespassed against me, mm -hmm. and that also they have walked contrary unto me. And so this I punishment is coming from God, sister, brother. Right. Right? Go ahead, but he's just, he just using the Gentiles, like he's, he said he's going to use the will of the beast and all that. The same way he's using the Gentiles to give us our punishment, right? right? Go ahead. And that I also have walked contrary unto them mm -hmm. and have brought them into the land of their enemies. Mm -hmm. If then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled mm -hmm. and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity, mm -hmm. Then will I remember my covenant with Jacob. Then he going to remember he's a covenant God? Yeah. Right, go ahead. And also my covenant with Isaac. Uh -huh. And also my covenant with Abraham will I remember. Mm -hmm. And I will remember the land. These are your ancestors, sister and brother. Go ahead. The land also shall be left of them and shall enjoy her sadness while she lied desolate without them. Mm -hmm. And they shall accept of the punishment of their iniquity mm -hmm. because... Even because they despise my judgments, mm -hmm. and because their soul abhorred my statutes, and yet for all that, when they be in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away. Neither will I abhor them to destroy them. You're not gonna destroy the utterly. You're not gonna destroy all of the, all the nation, the nation of Israel, right? Right. Go ahead. You're gonna and keep some a remnant, right? Go ahead. And to break my covenant with them, for I, the Lord, am God. For I am the Lord their God. Mm -hmm. But I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors mm -hmm. whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt mm -hmm. in the sight of the heathen. Mm -hmm. Then I might be their God. I am the Lord. That's right. That's your love letter right there. I hope you like it. <laughs> All right, let's go to Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28, we know we didn't, um, we got the curse because we're here in the enemy land. You think we need to read the curses? <laughs> uh, I mean, you think we need to read the blessing? Or we should read, go straight to the curses? Let's see what we missed, right? Let's go read some of the blessings. Because we still, as, as, a, um, as we keep the commandments of the law, you still could be blessed in your enemy land. Right? So let's read some of the blessings, right? Go ahead. Um, pick it up at verse 1. We're going to read to the 6. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Uh -huh. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. Mm -hmm. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Mm -hmm. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go read the curses, because... Majority of us under the curse, right? <laughs> right. We sure under these curses. We're going to do some skipping. We're going to finish it real quick. All right, go um, pick it up at verse 15. Go ahead. Read, read to the 20. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments mm -hmm. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that all these curses shall come upon thee. Mm -hmm. People don't overtake. like them curses. They don't read them curses now. You go to that Sunday church, they read all about that blessing. But that curse, dang, that's not for you. Yeah, go ahead. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. Uh huh. Curse shall be thy basket in thy store. Uh huh. Curse shall, be, curse shall be the fruit of thy body, mm -hmm. and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Mm -hmm. Curse shall thou be when thou comest in. 
and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. And you'll see it out there. You'll see it out there. You'll see some, some people are really cursed out there. Mm -hmm. You'll be like, well, you'll be wondering what's, what, what, what's really wrong with these people. Why they can't obtain a job? Why they can't do this? Why they can't do this? It's because of them curses. Right? right? Why they don't see their way? You know what I mean? All this stuff. You, where you at? Uh, verse 20. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall send upon thee curses, vexation, and rebuke. And they are always mad, right? Go ahead. And all that thou said is thine hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, mm -hmm. and until thou perish quickly, mm -hmm. because of the wickedness of thy doings. That's right. Whereby thou hast forsaken me. Skip down to 40, 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, uh -huh. and shall pursue thee, mm -hmm. and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, mm -hmm. because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. to keep his commandments. You could imagine when, what slavery was like, you know? Right. One, you know, you, you, they came and come and get your daddy, right? Say, hey, daddy, this is your last day. You're going to see your daddy. Uh, it's a, that was a terrible time. Right? Right. Right, go ahead. And his statutes which he commanded thee, mm -hmm. and they shall be upon thee for a sign, uh -huh. and for a wonder, mm -hmm. and upon thy seed forever. Mm -hmm. Ain't this a sign system, brother? These right. curses? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Go ahead. You want to uh, skip? skip? Skip down to, um, let me skip down. Oh, yeah. Skip to 64. 64, yeah. Go straight to 64. <clears throat> And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Uh -huh. And there thou shalt serve other gods, uh -huh. which neither thou. Yeah, nor. like Christmas, right? Yeah. Yeah, Halloween. Uh, why should we what, go and follow after these things, right? Right. Right? These gods. We don't even know about these gods we're following after. Right? Go ahead. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Mm -hmm. We, we sure strong. ain't on. Um, <clears throat> Santa Claus coming to a chimney, one 400-pound man coming to a chimney. And we teach that to our children. And children sit at the fireplace waiting for, um, for Santa to come through that. Ain't that some nonsense? Yes, sir. Right? Go ahead. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. Uh -huh. Neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. Uh -huh. <clears throat> but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart uh -huh. and failing of eyes, mm -hmm. sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. Mm -hmm. and thou shalt fear day and night. That's right. Don't you got to pay them bills, right? Them bills. That's right. You be like, man, you fear I'll be on the street, right? That's right. Make sure you pay them bills, right? You don't pay them bills. <laughs> Woo, you be, your stuff will be on the street, right? That's right. And sometimes be like, long lord, that long lord. What's up, what's up, what's up? You, you three days late. <laughs> I got you, I got you. <laughs> All right, go ahead, read on. And shall have none assurance of thy life. Uh-huh. In the morning thou shalt say, would God it were even. Uh-huh. And at even thou shalt say. You want to make that money quickly. You want to pay that rent, right? Go ahead. Would God it were morning. Uh-huh. For the fear of thine heart, wherewith thou shalt fear. Mm -hmm. And for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. Mm-hmm. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uh-huh. Remember. We then went to Egypt. We then came out of Egypt with ship. So this is talking about the world Egypt, mm -hmm. right? Right. So we came in this. We came in this um, atmosphere with, with um, ships, right? Right. Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, mm -hmm. thou shalt see it no more again. Mm -hmm. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And and when, if you ask, ask one of them people that don't know this truth. You ask them, where do you really come from? Oh, yeah, Africa, man. I come from Africa. Where in Africa? You, they can't tell you. Right. They can't tell you. And then when you go there to um, Uganda, they'll be like, oh, man, you're not from here now. Gonna, we got some serious taxes you got to pay around here. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. For bond men and bond women. Uh -huh. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you. And that's the truth. Right? Um, let's go to um, Isaiah. Because I, I did mention you do have a land. You do have a land. And you see it on TV most of the time. 
<laughs> and you don't even know it, your land, right? Your, 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 your um, land will be on front news, CNN. Isaiah, the second chapter, and we're going to read one, um, we're going to read verse 2 to 10. All right. Isaiah 1 or Isaiah 2? Isaiah 1. Okay. And we're going to read verse 2 to 10. Read on. Hear, O heavens, uh -huh. and give ear, O earth. Uh -huh. For the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, mm -hmm. and, they, and they have rebelled against me. Uh-huh. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. Uh -huh. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. Mm -hmm. A sinful nation, mm -hmm. a people laden with iniquity, mm -hmm. the seed of evildoers, uh -huh. children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. Mm -hmm. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. Mm -hmm. They are going away backward. Uh -huh. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Mm -hmm. You will revolt more and more. Mm. The but more you spank them, the more they revolt. Yeah. Right. Right? Right. Just like our children, right? The more you spank them, the more. <laughs> right? They go right back there and do the same thing. <laughs> All right, go ahead. The whole head is sick. Huh? And the whole heart faint. Woo. From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there mm. is no soundness in it. Uh -huh. But wounds and bruises mm -hmm. and putrefying sores. They need an ointment. Go ahead. They have not been closed. Neither bound up. Mm -hmm. Neither mollified with ointment. Uh -huh. Your country is desolate. The what? Country is desolate. Israel, you got a country. And it's desolate. Mm -hmm. right? right? And it's burning before you. Right? Go ahead. Your cities are burned with fire. Uh-huh. They ain't bombing over there. That's you believe right. that same, um, what do they call them? Gaza? That's your land, too. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Go ahead. Your land, strangers, defi strangers devour it in your presence. Uh-huh. And it is desolate, as overthrown by strangers. Uh-huh. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, mm -hmm. as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, mm -hmm. as a besieged city. That's right. Except the Lord of hosts had left the, have left Unto us a very small remnant. Uh -huh. We should have been in Sodom. Look at us here, a remnant. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead. And we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Uh -huh. Give ear unto the law of God. God. Mm -hmm. the, Lord, of the Lord giving us name there, sister, but that's right. not a good name. No, right? Go ahead. Give ear unto the law of our God, mm -hmm. ye people of Gomorrah. Oh, man, I don't like that name. Mm -mm. But, um... Let's go to Deuteronomy 20, 21. We're almost there in California. We're on the border right now. <laughs> yeah. On the border. We. We're paying the toll right now. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to pick it up, uh, verse 22. Deuteronomy 21 and verse 22. Go ahead, read it when you get it. Remember. And if a man have committed a sin worthy of death, uh -huh. and, he be to be, and he be to be put to death, uh -huh. and thou hang him on a tree, hang him on a tree, his body shall not remain all night upon the tree. But guess what? When they were putting us on the tree over here, sister and brother, they had us for an example. They put you on a tree and they have everybody coming and watch at you. So you don't do this again. You don't try to escape. You escape, this is what's going to happen to you. And they leave it there for a couple of days. They're supposed to take it down, but they didn't. Right? Go ahead. His body shall not remain all night upon the tree. Mm -hmm. But thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. Uh -huh. For he that is hanged is, cur is a curse. To they, God. Ain't we cursed? Then did we read the curses? Mm -hmm. Right? As a nation. We are cursed, system, brother. Right. But Jesus, let's go to um, Galatians. The third. We finish that. No, we didn't. Okay, go ahead, finish it. That thy land be not defiled, mm -hmm. which the Lord thy God giveth thee mm -hmm. for an inheritance. Mm -hmm. And 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 up to this day, we can't keep those laws. We're supposed to bury you the, the same day. Because we're not in. We are in the enemy land. But um, Galatians, the third chapter. But Jesus was also hanged on a tree for us. But not because he did something wrong. 
we did something wrong. Right? Right. Galatians, the third chapter, and verse 13. Read it when you get there, my brother. Christ hath redeemed us from, from the curse of the law. Uh-huh. Being made a curse for us. Mm -hmm. For it is written, cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Mm-hmm. And we show our curse from, uh, and we've been hanging on trees, even in Africa these days, right? Go ahead and um, Joel's the third chapter. Joel, Joel the third chapter. Joel the third chapter. Joel, the third chapter, and we're going to... Eh. And we're going to pick it up at verse 1 and, and um, verse 1. How we end up here in captivity and we're supposed to be the salt of the earth, man? Huh? Pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead, read. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah mm -hmm. and Jerusalem. And no time before, right? When the Lord returned, he's going to return the captivity. All right, don't let people tell you, oh, I'm Jesus coming tomorrow. Come and meet me downtown. Um, we going up to heaven. Huh? No, sir. It ain't going to happen, right? No, sir. Many people already did those predictions. I told that guy on my job, I said, give me your, because your, he keep telling me the time is coming, Dion, get ready. He said, 2025, 20, he said, uh, I said, look here, brother. It's a brother, too. I said, look here, man, can you give me that truck key and you know, all them when that day come? And your bank account, all that stuff, man, because you ain't going to need it. you going to heaven. He like, I don't know. It's coming, though. <laughs> it's like, it, I'm waiting on, uh, I told him what, what month, he can't tell me what month, he said, he said, um, next year, I said, give me the month, man, because I need to be there, I need to get, get your wallet and all that stuff, right, remember, we got a contract, <laughs> so he, he hesitant about that, right, go ahead, because he think I'm, I'm, I'm being funny, but go ahead. <laughs> I, 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 I want that money. <laughs> Go ahead. I will also gather all nations uh -huh. and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Uh -huh. What are we going to do there? And will plead with them uh -huh. for my people and for my heritage, Israel, uh -huh. whom they have scattered among the nations uh -huh. and parted my land. Mm -hmm. And they have cast lots for my people. What? And have given a boy for an harlot uh -huh. and sold a girl for wine. Man, I, you know, I'm from Suriname and I'm also born in Guyana. And they got a marketplace in um, Guyana, a big marketplace next to the sea walls. We call it the sea walls. And, and this is where you, we will be auction off, the auction off people. And today, today they're selling grocery right in there. The children of Israel are selling grocery right in there. It's a, it's a, it's a farmer's market now. Man. But yeah, that's where we were sold for, um, yeah. Go ahead. That they might drink. Yeah. And what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, uh -huh. and all the coasts of Palestine? Mm -hmm. Will you render me a recompense? Mm -hmm. And if ye recompense me, Swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. Uh -huh. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried it into your temples. Mm -hmm. And it sure is. They, they took them, them things because we, you don't know where they're at. Mm -hmm. But they, we know the Romans them got it. Go ahead. And have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. Uh -huh. And one of them temples is what? The uh, Catholic Church, right? Go ahead. The children also. It's down there in the basement. <laughs> They got all that gold down there, right? Go ahead. The children also of Judah uh -huh. and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians uh -huh. that ye might You know who the Grecians are, right? Greeks. Greeks, right? The mm -hmm. Romans, right? Go ahead. That ye might remove them far from their border. Uh -huh. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them uh -huh. and will return your recompense upon your own head. Mm -hmm. 
Some of us want to know how we're going to get back to Jerusalem. The Lord going to take care of us, sister and brother. That's right. When that time comes, you're going to see. Your Lord going to make a way, right? Right. Go ahead. You just got to believe and have faith, right? Right. Go ahead. 15. Mm -hmm. Skip down to 15, my brother. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, mm -hmm. and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion uh -huh. and utter his voice from Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And the heavens and the earth shall shake. Mm -hmm. But the Lord will be the hope of his people. Now what? And the strength. The Lord of still love you? That's right. All the way to the end, right? That's right. He said he love you forever. That's right. Right? Yes, sir. Go ahead. And the strength of the children of Israel. Uh-huh. That. That's right. That's the end of it. It was getting nice, brother. You were reading good, too. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Yeah, I can't fall asleep without reading that, bro. Yeah. Zechariah the eighth chapter. Zechariah the eighth chapter. Zechariah the eighth chapter. And we're gonna pick it up at verse twenty-one to twenty-three. Read it when you get there, my brother. And the inhabitants of one city shall go to another, saying. Mm -hmm. Let us go speedily to pray before the Lord. So these are out of nation. Remember, Jerusalem is going to be the spiritual people going to be there uh, because the Lord is going to be there. The Lord is spirit, right? That's right. So he's going to be there, and then you got these, the, um, the people that's resurrect going to be there. But you have these out of nations also going to be around there, right? Mm -hmm. But they want to go where? Read it again. And the inhabitants of one city shall go to another. Uh-huh. Let us go speedily to pray before the Lord. Uh huh. These are the other nations, right? Go ahead. And to seek the Lord of hosts. Mm -hmm. I will go also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts uh -huh. in Jerusalem mm -hmm. and to pray before the Lord. Uh huh. Thus said the Lord of hosts: In those days it shall come to pass that th that ten men shall take hold out of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him. That is a Jew uh -huh. saying, we will go with you, uh -huh. but we have heard that God is with you. And what about if the Israelites say, no, nah, man, I'm not going there. I'm not. Don't take me there. Don't take me to Jerusalem. I'm an I'm a, I'm a African-American. <laughs> that, that, that Gentile is going to say, look here, bro. I need to go before the Lord. You either go or I'm going to spank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to take that spank. Judge me. But anyway... We, we're going to be going to, that's how one of the ways we're going to get to Jerusalem. They're going to take us there, right? Right. Yeah. We finished that? Yeah, we finished that. All right. Let's, let's, um, Romans the 10th chapter. Because, uh, we can be too salty sometimes, sister and brother. What I mean by that, we're going to see here in Romans the 10th chapter. Because uh, if it's too salty, I know you ain't going to eat it. Right? right? You're like, man, that's too much salt, brother. Yeah. And, and with this word, we can give people too much. Uh, <coughs> right? But go ahead. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is... Romans the 10th chapter and verse 1. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Uh-huh. For I bear them record... That they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Yeah, some of us don't got that knowledge, right? But we have that zeal. Right. Right, go ahead. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the, unto the righteousness of God. Uh-huh. Let's go to first, first Timothy and see about these people right here. First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians, yeah. First Thessalonians, the second chapter. going to see these people with their zeal and but not according to knowledge and the Lord hate this right all right uh, pick it up at verse 14 to 16 go ahead read it when you get there my brother 
for ye, brethren, became followers of the churches of God, mm -hmm. which in Judea are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. For ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen. Mm -hmm. even of, as of your own countrymen, Israelites, right? Right. right. What are they doing? Go ahead. Even as they have of the Jews, mm -hmm. who both killed the Lord Jesus uh -huh. and their own prophets mm -hmm. and have persecuted us. Mm -hmm. And they please not God and are contrary to all men, mm -hmm. forbidding us to speak to the Gentiles. They don't want you to bring this word to the Gentiles. Hmm. They, they don't want, they, they're shutting them off, right? What are they doing? Read it. Forbidding us to speak to the Gentiles uh -huh. that they might be saved. To fill up their sin always. So they want to be saved, but they don't want the Gentiles to come in. Mm. But you're supposed to be the priest. Mm. Right. So who are you supposed to teach if you're the priest? Everybody. Right? Go ahead. For the wrath has come upon them to the uttermost. Mm-hmm. Let's go to First Peter, the third chapter. We're in California now, so we're looking around. <laughs> We're going to park in a minute. Yeah. We're trying to find parking right now. <laughs> yeah. 1 Peter, the third chapter. And we're going to read one verse there, my brother. Go ahead, read. 1 Peter, the, the third chapter, verse 15. Go ahead. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. Uh-huh. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you. Mm -hmm. A reason of the hope that is with that is in you with meekness and fear. That's right. Let's see how you're gonna supposed to answer people. How you're supposed to um what you're supposed to be seasoned with. Let's go to um Colossians, the fourth chapter, and this is it. I find the parking, it's right there. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Read it, my brother. Say Colossians, right? Colossians, the fourth chapter, one verse, and this is it. All right. Let right. your go ahead, read it. Let your speech be always with grace, uh -huh. seasoned with salt. Seasoned with what? Salt. Uh huh. That you may know how you ought to answer every man. That's right. You gotta have this salt system, brother, which is this word, and able to give the people the answer when they ask a question. So you gotta have this knowledge. So I thank you for your time. I hope this um, this word went forward, and you guys understand what I'm trying to bring today. Praise Jesus. All right?